Good Monday afternoon, everybody. It is a post-tournament round drive time chat with Buzz. Quick recap. Did uh, U.S. Open locals last week. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, ended up absolutely hating the golf course. Uh, had I known what I was getting into, I would not have gone there. I shot a number of which we should not speak. Um, oh, what the heck. I mean, I shot 80. It was terrible. Um, smallest greens I've ever seen. And I've been doing this a long time. So for me to say it's the smallest greens I've ever seen, that is that carries a bit of weight, honestly. I don't know who was swinging my golf club on on uh, Thursday last week. I mean, it was an out-of-body experience. The lights may have been on, but nobody was home. I, I, I couldn't hit anything. Could not hit anything. Couldn't make any putts, except for the one on the first hole. Uh, that was a good one. Just miserable. Absolutely, absolutely miserable. So, I basically just kind of shrugged that off. Like, I haven't played that much golf. I haven't been able to practice that much outdoors. Eventually, this will not be an excuse, or a legit excuse anyway, because um, I'm making plans and taking actions that will allow me to do more outdoor play and practice. Uh, I just have to manage my time. so. Uh, so fast forward a few days. Nice part about this was, uh, at tournament Thursday, I had a round with a client on Friday, uh, who I had fit pretty much for his whole bag. And, uh, you know, it was great being able to get right back into it so that I didn't have to sit and dwell on what happened at the open qualifier. Um, turned right back around, played a golf course that I'd never seen, shot 71, you know, played pretty decent overall, made some putts, really, you know, struck the ball pretty good. I really don't have any major complaints about uh, the way I played that day. So, um, you know, it was, it was definitely encouraging. Um, worked Saturday, took Sunday, yesterday was cold and rainy pretty much the whole day so just decided uh i'll just sit on it and, and kind of wait it out i did go hit some balls for about an hour um then this morning it was 47 degrees and blowing again so you know a couple things about senior golf we are old people what do old people like old people like heat Note to Pennsylvania Golf Association, schedule this in September when it is boiling hot. You're going to have a lot less people going, oh, my bones. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how many people loved being out there today. Uh, 47, 48 degrees and breezy. And then it got a little bit warmer and it got a little breezier. So, um you know, they got live scoring going on right now, and uh, two guys that are through four holes are under par, and they're the only ones that are under par, and they haven't played the rest of the golf course yet. So, Lehigh Country Club is a fantastic golf course, and it is, I mean, it's just, a, you know, pretty much perfect epitome of old school golf, uh, really challenging green complexes got to pick your spots, got to leave yourself in the right places. Um, you can play holes a multitude of different ways. You can hit a lot of drivers. You can hit a lot of layup shots. And so it was a good mix out there today. I didn't start out very well. Um, I, I drove it into the rough on the second hole and I caught a really bad lie in the rough. And it was one of those holes that goes up uh, on the green and then kind of 
trails off toward the back. So I didn't want to hit something that was going to come out really hot out of the rough and not be able to stop it on the green. So I basically just tried to play front edge. And that's exactly where it ended up, was right on the front edge. Um, and it left me like a 60-foot uphill, downhill, three or four different breaks kind of thing, uh, which I proceeded to leave about eight feet short and uh, then missed that one and then missed the one coming back. So a uh, little three-putt double to start my round off second hole, uh, which I very quickly bounced back from. Uh, very difficult par three. Next hole, uh, they had the tees up for us older guys. Uh, last time I played it, I played it like 220. It's playing 175 today. Uh, I hit a seven iron into about three feet, dead below the hole. Could not possibly have just walked up and placed a coin down and had it be any better. Uh, so knocked that one in and next hole I hit a little tiny 67 yard wedge shot to about a foot so uh, I like those those are nice those ones that I don't have to think about anytime I do not have to engage this thing definitely a plus so uh, you know bounded back nicely then a little hiccup here and then another birdie and then somehow some way I hit the ball out of bounds long on nine uh, I I will swear to my dying day that there was, I did not hit enough club to hit it past the green. So this thing had to have hit a rake or a grate or a sprinkler head or something for it to get out of bounds. Because I mean, I looked, I looked 20 yards short of the green. I didn't even think to look long out of bounds because there wasn't, it wasn't enough club. 150 playing back into the wind, and I was just trying to hit a nice solid seven iron. So, uh, and it was out of the fairway, so no flyers. I don't know. So, anyhow, uh, yeah, I turned it two over, birdie 10. Uh, then a couple more hiccups, and it just kind of, you know, didn't play bad, didn't play great, didn't putt bad, didn't putt great. Uh, most exciting part of my game right now, honestly, are my wedges. Like, I am really feeling pretty good with the wedges for having only had them for like two weeks. And I got to tell you, I hold a flop shot today. Oh my goodness. So the seventh hole at Lehigh is, uh, was playing 210 today and it is off a steep cliff. So uh, obviously we're not allowed to have slope on our range finders. I don't even own a range finder with slope feature. And so I'm guessing it was probably, it probably plays about two clubs less, but then of course it's cold and it's you know, straight back into the wind and kicking up. So I proceed to try to hit a low flighted five iron and try to turn it over into the wind. Which, what does it do? Obviously, it comes up and hangs out and, and falls off to the right. I didn't see it land. Thought it might have gone in the bunker on the right-hand side. Was worried that it had not cleared the water. There's a, uh, a creek that runs through. And because I didn't see it, I was definitely a bit concerned. Well, I got up there, and uh, I was in one of those little cutouts of the bunkers. So I was fortunate that I had a decent stance. Why well, wasn't terrible, wasn't great. Had a little bit of room to work with. And I'm like, all right, so let's, I, I got to hit a flop shot. I got to commit to it. And, uh, oh, it's fantastic. Shot straight up in the air, flew over the bunker, landed on the green, started rolling. And about four feet before it got to the hole, uh, one of my playing partners goes like this. And sure enough, it just kept trickling right in. Pin could have been pulled, whatever. That thing was always going in. So, Pretty awesome to do that. Second wedge shot I've hold in the last two weeks. Weird. I haven't done that much. So cool stuff. So anyway, um, that's day one recap. Uh, Pennsylvania Senior Open. Uh, I won't know exactly when I tee off until everybody's in. I do know that that win better keep up because uh, I want to have a, at least an outside shot at it if I put up a decent round tomorrow. I can shoot three or four under on this golf course. I could probably shoot five or six under on this golf course if I knew what I was doing. 
don't really know what I'm doing right now. Um, I wish I could say I had some measure of control over my golf swing, but I really don't. I don't know exactly why it is the way it is, but uh, I definitely have some work to do. Still hang a lot of shots out to the right. Um, just like I'm afraid to release my hands. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so day one in the books, shot 73, not the end of the world. Course is playing tough, greens are fast. Uh, just got to get a good one tomorrow. So uh, we will continue this chat tomorrow when I am on my way home after round two. All right. Take it easy, people. Peace. Play well.